In this video, I want to answer a lot of questions that I've been getting about my prison sentence. And one that's been very common is a lot of questions are, why didn't I manifest my way out of prison sooner? Which I do think is a really good question. People want to know why I spent eight and a half years in prison when I could have gotten out or I could have just got all the charges dropped immediately. But my first, you got to remember that my first charge, my the first charge I had was a, was a life sentence. It was what you call a PBL, punishable by life in prison. However, the reason I didn't manifest my way out of all of the charges is because I realized that I did something that I shouldn't have been doing. And I had been doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. And I knew that there was an issue and I didn't want this issue to continue in my life. And I wanted to take responsibility for the things that I've done in my past to recreate the new version of myself. And this was actually based on one of the visualizations that I was doing over and over and over in my mind as I was falling asleep when I was able to spend all this time with my grandfather. And a lot of you don't know this, but my grandfather also spent time in prison. And when I, when, you asked, when I asked him about his prison sentence, he would always say that he enjoyed himself in prison because he finally was able to find peace within himself. Because you know that he was always running all of these different businesses and he had over a thousand employees at one point. And he said that he had to deal with all these lawyers because of the clubs that he had in LA. He was trying to keep the doors open while you know he had a fully nude bar with it that served alcohol and in california that's illegal but he was able to keep the doors open but he always had these legal battles going on with these lawyers and all these people calling and he had all these things going on but he said when he went to prison all of that ended he didn't have anyone calling him on the phone he didn't have people bothering him he was finally able to find peace within himself and get away from the 3d world everything that he was dealing with throughout his life and he also had a drug addiction he had alcohol addiction he had all these things and prison helped him find himself again and to where he could find peace within himself because a lot of times when you get a lot of money and you become rich you become a millionaire you can do whatever you want and all these temptations are in your face so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to say no to a lot of things. You're gonna have to know the difference between the two, and you're gonna have to have a concept or a version of yourself that's gonna know. No, I'm not gonna abuse this. No, I'm not gonna abuse that. No, I'm gonna do the right things with the money. But if you choose the latter, you choose to do the wrong things, you will be destroyed. It will destroy. It will eat your mind from the inside out. So after talking with my grandfather for so long before I went to prison, well, why my, my charges were still pending, waiting on trial or waiting for something to happen, I took all of his these things that he was telling me under consideration. Everything that he was saying about finding peace and how stressed out he was because I found myself in the same position trying to find out how I can break free from this? How can I, how can I, you know, fix my mind and not have these these problems within my life? Because there had been so many times in the past where I tried to quit drinking alcohol and just I couldn't do it. There was nothing that nothing that triggered me enough to where I could quit for you know long periods of time. I mean, there were times where I quit for six months or even a year, but I always went back to it. And I never wanted to touch alcohol again. I never wanted to abuse anything again, any, any more instant gratification. All of these things that are destroying my mind, I wanted to end all of these things in my life. So after taking all of this under consideration, I wanted to change my beliefs. I wanted to change my concept of myself. I wanted to become a new person. So I started falling asleep with my, because my grandfather told me, I asked him, how do you do this? How, how, what should I do? She so said, start falling asleep with the being the person that you want to be, the person that is no longer abusing substances, the person that is successful, the person that you want to be. Fall asleep, create a visual scene and replay this scene over and over in your mind as you're falling asleep. Go to the end and then allow everything just to happen the way that it's supposed to in its own natural way. Create the scene and then allow everything to happen in its own natural way. So when I did this, I did this over and over and over. And when I was sentenced, I knew that that was the time that I needed to create the new version of myself. And even when I went to prison, like the very first prison I went to, 
was it was like a level seven prison it was a really bad prison there were no trees there was no grass all there was was sand concrete and barbed wire but as i transitioned and started really meditating because that first prison that's where i went in and did the most meditation that's where i did where i really went into my mind and started repairing all of the issues that i had and started changing my beliefs started changing my conception of myself refocusing my mind transitioning my mind from instant gratification and doing easy things that make me feel good now disciplining my mind for delayed gratification doing things that are really hard but i know that they're going to benefit me in the future and once i got through that i was at the first prison for about two and a half years then all of a sudden i was transferred to another prison then this prison had grass it had trees it was much nicer that i was transitioning everything was unfolding as i was moving through it so i was letting this happen naturally second prison it was much nicer then i started educating myself i started my mind was becoming more developed it was becoming more disciplined it was becoming more powerful i was able to focus on one thing for long periods of time so i wanted to use this now i wanted to use this strength and I started getting college degrees. I started, I got my culinary arts degree. I got, you know, I became a, a certified paralegal. I became a law clerk. I became all of these things and getting all of these degrees at the second and third prison I was at. And then two and a half years later, I went to the third prison. The third prison was even nicer, more structured, more grass, more trees, bigger, bigger rec yards, more freedom. Everything started unfolding. My consciousness was unfolding into this new version of myself. And during all of this, living with basically nothing, I was learning to live with nothing. So my gratitude levels were increasing. I was doing gratitude crash courses. I was, I was focused on, I changed my mind from being focused on the things that I didn't have and start focusing on the things that I did have. And once you go, once you hit rock bottom, you start seeing when you're in prison, when you're inside prison and you really don't have much, you all of your belongings are in a box this big and that's all you have. And they could be taken from you at any point. The officers, the, the COs could come in any time and just take all your stuff or they could say, okay, pack it up, you're leaving. So anything can happen to you. Your life can be torn apart at any moment. So you have to learn to find happiness within you happiness within you where you don't need anything and that these emotional things anything that can happen to you you're no longer going to react to those things so it's training it trained me not to react emotionally to anything that happened in my life which is one of the most powerful features to have in the real world so when i got out you know becoming emotional about things is just something that i don't do i handle everything intellectually and i don't get emotional about anything so what this new version of myself can now create anything that i want because now that i have the focus now that i have the ability to not become emotional about things or react to negative things in my life and and be focused on the things that i do have rather than the things that i don't my my hope my entire version of myself has shifted into abundance and after i was at the third prison for about a year and a half then i transferred to a work release facility and at this facility you can actually get an outside job you just have to have an ankle bracelet on and a gps on you at all times you could take a bus and go work somewhere like at a restaurant or something like this you can actually go out and have even more freedom you can actually go outside when you want to go outside. You can actually walk outside because in prison, when you're actually in prison, you can't just walk outside and, and anytime that you want. You can't, you don't have that freedom. You don't have those privileges anymore. So all those things I don't take for granted anymore. Just my ability to be able to walk outside anytime I want or go in my or go in the fridge and get something to eat anytime I want. Get a get a cold cup of water or or have a cup of hot cup of coffee anytime I want. These things are gold to me now. These things I don't take for granted anymore. Like before I went to prison, I never looked at the world the way that I do now because I never had it taken away from me. Sometimes when you have everything taken from you, you learn what you have. You learn that life is actually really really great because there's so many things in your life it doesn't matter what you're going through right now in your life it could always be a hundred times worse and i also promise you that no matter how bad your life is right now 
there's somebody across the world that would love to live your life would love to be you right now and these are the things that i had to learn while i was in prison to be grateful because the life that i had before i didn't see any of this i thought my life was horrible but really looking back now i had it made i had everything made in my life but my mind was a disaster i was thinking backwards most people when they grow up they're trained to think backwards they're trained to focus on the things that they don't have rather than the things that they do have and this is backwards thinking this puts you in a state of lack and this is why a lot of people have a hard time manifesting things because they're not grateful for the things that they have and they're always focused on the things that they don't have and when you're focused on the things that you don't have you're in a state of lack but if you're but if you're always focused on gratitude and be like wow i have all these things in my life all of these great things i already have in my life more things are going to come to you in that state and that's like the the foundation of the law of assumption and the law of attraction all these things and manifesting anything in your world is being in this state of having everything you're appreciating everything in your world and also what this does is it makes difficult tasks much easier you're able to to do things difficult things very easily in a state of gratitude and all these things i learned while i was in prison all these things that i do now i wasn't able to do before yeah i was able to manifest things in vain but i was never actually able to manifest something concrete or something meaningful i was never able to complete difficult tasks and, and like be in a state of joy or gratitude while doing that and when you could be in a state of joy and gratitude while accomplishing hard tasks then you're connected to the source you're you're connected to god himself and that connection is going to lead you to your manifestations or lead you to more things coming into your life because you're already grateful and satisfied and content with everything that you have and once you send those signals off you're going to get all the answers everything's just going to come to you you're going to be able to manifest anything that you want and you're going to actually enjoy doing this and this is one thing that i really really learned and got down in prison and I, this is why I really, really needed this much time in prison was to do difficult tasks and to learn how to get out of my comfort zone and just do difficult things. Because if you're always comfortable, when anything difficult comes into your life, you're going to get all emotional about it and come up with all these excuses about how you can't do it. And then you're going to stay in this, this life that you don't want to live. So if you're in a position and you're in your life, that you're not enjoying yourself it's because you're probably indulging in instant gratification which can be social media or any well anything that makes you feel good that is easy to do that, that makes you feel good just at the, that instant moment and it's easy to do these things are instant gratification are keeping you in your comfort zone and are destroying your manifestation abilities you have to avoid those at all costs and start start taking on difficult tasks that are delayed gratification that actually are going to benefit you in the future they may be difficult right now but they're developing your mind they're developing the muscle of your mind to be able to create great things in the future and all of these things will pay off so avoid instant gratification anything that makes you feel good in that moment and is really easy this can be so many things like social media alcohol drugs fast food greasy foods unhealthy foods music music that can be horrible just it stop yourself every now and then and just listen to the lyrics of the music that you're listening to what are you affirming what are those lyrics stop listening to those those things are not good for you either and i'll make some other videos on this and break this instant gratification down even more but this is the sole reason that changed me and i also feel like everything that i went through all the time that i had to do in prison and everything that i went through in my life in the past was not just for me like my development everything i went through everything i had to learn was not just for me it was for there's a bigger purpose for what i had to go through in order to teach so many people and i want to reach so many people and try to teach them everything i learned in there and there's so much more that i'm going to break down about my prison sentence and all the details about it everything i learned i want to dissect everything and then create videos all year long based on this and give you different exercises different examples and just break this down that way you can change yourself the way that i did without having to do all that maybe it's a little bit more simple for you i wish that i had access to myself 
before I went to prison. If I had a channel where I could watch and I could have learned these things, I wouldn't have had to go through that. I could have learned that. I could have changed myself sooner. And that's why I love this so much. What I'm doing is because it's like I'm saving myself because we're all connected. We're all consciousness. We're all connected beings. And it's only an illusion of separateness. So I feel like I'm saving myself by saving everyone else because I wish that I would have had access to something like this, you know, 20 years ago. All right, guys, I love you. And that's the end of this video. And I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to give me one thing you guys are grateful for in the column box below.